This is going to be ridiculous. Let's see if I can get the name right. All right, hold on. Hello, and welcome to the Park Stop Podcast. My name is Alicia Stell, and with me, as always, is my co-host, Ian. Hey, kids. And today we have a very special guest with us, Jalen Harvey of a podcast for all things, but mostly Disney and the E-Ticket Report. Welcome, Jalen. Hey, y'all. Don't tell Wakefield because we're supposed to be recording an episode like Tuesday. Oh, that mother is going to be mad at me. (laughs) Oopsies. It's fine. He still owes me. It's okay. (laughs) Today, we are talking about the D23 Expo 2022 Parks, Products, and Experiences panel. Did I I say that right? Is that all I know? We didn't get many products. We didn't get many much. Oh my God. Yeah, we didn't get many products. Where's the target dog? (laughs) We got lots of meet and greets. Aren't you guys excited? I feel bad for for the people who (laughs) only came. For the products. I really do <laughs> feel bad for those guys. Like, where's my Amazon Mickey thing that you were supposed to give me back in, like, January? Those never got sent out, did they? No. 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 This, uh, uh, we're only talking about this one presentation. Uh, and it just happened. It just ended. So we're still, our jaws are on the floor. We're we're trying <laughs> to make sense of what happened. We were so excited. It had, it on, had us on the edge of the seat. And then Josh is like, just like, took, took the football away from us, like, Lucy, Lucy and, uh, and Charlie Brown is like, oh, but none really of that is actually that. announced. Yeah. <laughs> he did that with Figment extremely. Like he did that Dude, with Figment. That was mean. That was straight mean. That was Figment. really mean. Everyone loves Figment. That's why me and great. Sh- <laughs> you show the pavilion and everyone's losing their minds. And he's like, yeah, me and great. Wah, wah. Do we want to go through a list of every single thing he talked about? I mean, we can like quickly run through it. Like it started with the song from Happily Ever After. I'm looking at Ian, we're watching this and I'm like, man, I really like this song. That was such a good show. Wait, why are they playing this song? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's coming back, right? Right, right. Apparently it's coming back, but it's like a remix Happily Ever After. At least that's what Scott Gustine, shout out to him. He's a real yeah. MVP of this event. Like that was something that was like somewhat of a remix that is coming back. It's not going to be exactly happily ever after as we knew it, but like a remix version. I think I'm guessing it's going to be like some segments from Enchantment, but like that really cool red and gold look for the castle and the the happily ever after song yeah. like comes back. Mm. Like so, it's like the best of both worlds. Maybe some of the yeah. newer films. Maybe we leave out Pirates of the Caribbean since we don't need that anymore. To like, to replace the first of the two mostly successful shows of the fiftieth. Right, that's what was said. Well, yeah. Well, I, hold on. We'll get to that. <laughs> I'm still I'm still confused about what he meant there. That's like. Then it, then he he randomly said um, he was talking about anniversaries and he's like Epcot's got an anniversary coming up and then they they talked about their favorite songs on Cosmic Rewind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What was and we, it? we all collectively agreed it's September. Yeah, <laughs> I I didn't even know that was a debate. Honestly, I thought I was worried. I saw that the names start to disappear on the screen, and I thought for a split second that they were just going to meet make it only September from now on. Like I thought they were like everything feels like a, a deliberate announcement, but it wasn't. He just wanted to chat about what our favorite songs were, just randomly no. in the middle of everything because like padding. I guess I don't know what's going on. Like I said on Twitter, that presentation had more fluff than a build a bear workshop. Like Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> It's <laughs> like, uh, I, I, I see the point. He wants to remind, he did it again at the end. He wants to remind us, hey, we did open new stuff because we're not going to be opening new stuff in the, in this park for a while. Um, <laughs> Pixar, we belong together for Disneyland Paris was like, kind of like sort of announced. Uh, that was a strange place to announce it. And not later when they talked about Disneyland Paris overall. Yeah. Yeah. That was weirdly out of place. I thought it was like, and then they say they start with Disneyland and they went all the way to the end to unveil more Disneyland stuff about like the 100th anniversary. It was and barely anything. We had more earlier on. Um, yeah. So that's, yeah, that is, what, that is what happened next is they, they talked about Disneyland for a while. They had John Favreau come out um, and they played the the Mandalorian music. And I'm like, oh my, are they going to do a Mandalorian ride? Are nope. they going to do a Mandalorian ride? Nope. Oh, they're re-announcing the meet and greet that they've already announced. Oh, okay. Yeah. Meet and greet that number Walt one. Disney World won't get. We will exactly. not get that. Or if we do not. get it, it's in Launch Bay. It is probably. No, 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 no. It's, a, it's in the hotel. 
No, that, that's the reason we're not getting it is because the hotel is locked into timeline. So they won't even interfere with it with a Grogu. Oh, just put it in launch bay. Jesus Christ. That thing prints money. I can understand Boba and Fennec Shan, but Mando and Grogu especially, they print money. Well, they should they, put it in one man's dream like they did Baby Groot. I'm that fine too. with that. That um, Yeah, I'm cool with that. That's, that I don't know why there's Walt's dream. Can, can we discuss how I don't really know why they're so hard stick into this timeline when only like hardcore fans really know what's going on in that land. It's funny. Cause if, the, if that's the reason they're catering to a hundred people at the hotel and not the 10,000 people in the land every day, exactly. like, it's that's weird. the weird thing. It's super, yeah. nobody knows, like, unless you're really paying attention, nobody knows where it is on the timeline and it doesn't really matter to most people that are coming to Disney world. Then, then they talked about all of the awesome characters they have at Avengers campus. So I guess Disneyland just gets all the cool meet and greets. And that's when the smart Hulk came out <laughs> with his arms <laughs> out like Frankenstein. <laughs> Franken Hulk. Was the voice weird for y'all? Because it just mm-hmm. felt incredibly awkward. My someone said was, Garfield. <laughs> yeah, someone said Garfield. My first oh thought my was Strange God. Brew. Because, uh, yeah, Canadians. Oh I don't know. God. Yeah, Garfield's more accurate. It definitely he did definitely sound like Bill Murray's Garfield. Oh my god. He came like, out he might as well have said like, Oh, I hate Mondays. He said it like everything very slowly and solemn. Yeah. Especially mean, since we just heard the real guy right beforehand. Exactly. Exactly. Lasagna, am I right? You know? Oh my god. It was it was if I'm if I'm Mark Ruffalo. Oh my god! If I'm it Mark bad. Ruffalo, it was such a bad, it's such a bad impersonation of Russell. Uh, it was fine. The costume's really neat, but without context, like without kind there's, of, there's like nothing on the stage to show scale. So only in the wide shot did you really realize, oh, he's like ten feet tall. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I feel like it's not ready. Like he's kind of like taking like little baby steps. His arms can't go <laughs> he down. Looked like His he hands see where were he was weird. going. He, he yeah, looks like when you're walking around in the dark with your arms in front of you, like so you don't bump into furniture. <laughs> That's what he looked like. <laughs> like we saw the exoskeleton last time, and it was actually really cool, and it looked like it was way more mobile than that. And this looks really stiff. That's because they didn't have a ready. chest plate. He could the, the guy could see in the in the original footage. Now he yeah, has the chest I plate. They, I don't they think didn't make the eye holes big enough we should just use cameras they they might be that might be what's going on there's a delay (laughs) there's a delay on the camera feed (laughs) i don't i just didn't feel like it was ready to me and it feels weird too that it's just like his hands and his face basically they stuffed him in that suit it's weird i don't know the next big thing announced while we're in adventures campus was probably the biggest thing that was announced for the domestic parks and it was barely announced uh, I'm still not sure what to make of it. Yeah. Um, uh, Next. King Thanos in the multiverse of ride. <laughs> Something. <laughs> we were we had a name going and we just kept adding words to it. It was pretty fun, though. I thought for sure it was going to be like the flight, the the Quinjet ride still. So I'm th- sitting here thinking like multiverse, the flight, flight through the multiverse adventure. <laughs> Kept adding I, adventure to man. it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I don't, I mean, I've been saying that for a while. Like, I think what I posted something all the way back in July is talking about it, that they should use Thanos for the e ticket because that would mm-hmm. be just the, because he's not in the land, but he's like a, a, like a huge popular character. So, why isn't he nowhere to be seen in Avengers? And I feel like that's probably what it should have been in the first place. Like, I do like the idea of going to Wakanda, but that just always felt Wakanda should be a land. I just don't want to go there for five minutes. Yeah. Like I, yeah. yeah, I agree. Well, what do you think of this concept art? It's got like what if characters and a cartoon Spider Man and a, like yeah. a bunch of live action stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, bearded. Um, <laughs> someone sent me that photo with Shapek with the beard, and I'm like, is that the Thanos beard? Is that why he grew it? <laughs> <laughs> the white beard, but it's 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 that's how you know it's a multiverse Thanos because he has a beard that makes him different. <laughs> the old old man, old man King Thanos. Also, why is Thor holding Stormbreaker backwards? It's it's a multiverse. He uses it differently. <laughs> he uses the hammer side <laughs> instead of the blade side. Come on, She Hulk. She Hulk is in the in the art. Um, it's because it's a universe where the where Thanos won. And that's the, but like, look yep. at the ride vehicle. What is everyone's thoughts? This is a, we get to, we get to speculate. What is everyone's Did they thoughts show those? for what kind of ride? Oh, yeah. Spider-Man. Oh, Spider-Man. Oh my, I didn't even look at it. Rise, it's like a, Rise of the Resistance 2.0. Yeah. 
Maybe? Yeah, maybe? they're going to have less space than Rise of the Resistance, so maybe Rise of the Resistance with more screen pod moments. That's my Hold theory. On. Let me Multiple see. Multiple floors here. again. Because like, if it was mm. Spider Man, because um, if it was like if it's Back to the Future or Simpsons, the walls would be taller. Yeah, it's got to be something like that. I think maybe although, Rise. Although, so Ratatouille. Ratatouille doesn't have tall walls, so maybe Ratatouille. Same well, thing. Like rise, run, Runaway Railway, Rise of Resistance, uh, Winnie the Pooh, <laughs> all these like trackless rides. It's got that building that's already there right where the quinjet yeah. is on top of so they have that's some space barely could, a building i know but i'm saying that like gives them cover to make a multi-floor thing too kind of well like yeah they were gonna have a big on they're gonna have a big full-on like flight of passage building back there it's gonna be a warehouse so yeah. there there is a building space it's just not as big i guess if you don't have the hangar bay um from uh rise of resistance you probably got enough room there for the ride building yeah i was so, thinking like transformers like how they do multiple floors there i mean they do it on rise too you do go up an elevator and back down yeah. and stuff so i think i think rise of resistance with screen bays um it just not the drop tower kind but like like uh, like on gringotts where it's it's a roller coaster but it has simulator motion based parts maybe yeah. it'll be like that where it's like it's a trackless rides but it locks into motion based parts yeah, the Maybe. screen, the screen area, the screen base area in Rise is pretty good. I like that area. It, it works pretty good. They do that a couple times. It can get away with stretching that ride. I'm it assuming this is even a planned. This one was announced like it's really happening, but they didn't announce a name. Oh, no, that's <sighs> trying that to figure out how many words they can use. Mm, oh, so. oh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me think. Marvel's <laughs> multiverse. Mania? You can't say Marvel. Can't say Marvel. They can't say Marvel, even no. if it's on that side of the court. Yep. Damn. That's why it's Avengers Campus and not Marvel Campus or whatever you would call That's it. That's fair. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> this is new information. Well, Multiverse of Man. No, you can't do Multiverse of Madness. That's a, that's, that's, that's a movie. Come can, on. They use M- can they use MCU? No. 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 That's Would that's it? short yeah. for Marvel. Oh, yeah. I, was <laughs> yeah. Just, I didn't know. if. Well, it didn't exist before, so I'm wondering if they could just get away with it because MCU. Is- ha- okay. Hold on. Hold on. Avengers Assemble. Colon. Uh, <laughs> into the multiverse. Oh boy! Boom. I guess <laughs> adventure. Uh, yeah, I, I adventure. Guess. Adventure. <laughs> Actually, adventures assemble adventure is pretty good. No, <laughs> that one. Would Welcome you to AAA. AAA. Wait, AAA. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's not getting better. It's not getting better. <laughs> it's so good. Mm. Is it AAA title? Oh my god, they could definitely do that. But okay. So that's that we got literally no information. It's just tons and tons of whatever they want to throw into it. This is oh, someone suggested maybe it is a simulator ride, but it's like Star Tours where it can have different outcomes, different characters, different segments, and it's randomized because you can include so many different characters that way. I guess that's cool. I would want <laughs> animatronics a lot more with this one. I don't think every hero needs to be in anim- like an animatronic, but can we get back onto that? Sort of. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You could do Rise of the Resistance style, have segments with animatronics of the yeah. Avengers that are always yeah. there, and then go to the right. bays, and then that could change. Right. Well, I Th- think those videos could change. I bet you anything they re they they make a duplicate of the Iron Man from uh, Paris. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it's yeah, already no, built. That's just an that's, easy layup. Yeah, that's that's easy for them. It's already built. They know how to do it. So that's and that's the only do. animatronic. I'm putting my money on it. That's it. That's the only one on the ride. Keep keep in mind also, they had Hulk come out in the quantum suit. Just saying. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, they did. They did. We got ourselves a little time travel ride here. Is what we got. Chief ain't wrong. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Moving on because there's so much more to get to. Pacific Wharf being turned into San Francisco. No one had this on their bingo board, did they? No. No. I'm excited for it though. I think it's pretty cool. I want it now. I kind of want it. Is there Aunt Cass meet and greet? I hope so. I'm sorry. Someone, I'm sorry, dear listeners. Someone, <laughs> it's okay. I've already cut out everything you just said. Someone <laughs> zoomed in, dead center on that concept art. You will notice the cat cafe is present. Yay. Oh my god, that's awesome. Now hold on, <laughs> my dreams are coming true. <laughs> so, Jalen, you've actually been to California Adventure. Are there any rides in Pacific Wharf? <laughs> no, but you know what it does have. <laughs> what? sourdough bread factory where you can get free bread and free a Giardelli bread. in there so you can get bread and free chocolate and i'm scared because that's like the only <laughs> that's, like the, that's the last free that's the last free. they don't even give out Giardelli squares over at disney springs no, no more like oh nope. really they don't 
No. You, you got to catch them on like a holiday. They don't do it. Oh, like it. I only go at Christmas. That's why. Sourdough is the last bastion of free stuff that we have in the parks. Okay. They can't be taken. That's Maybe not some... true. They give out oranges when California Soren comes back. <laughs> See, but the sourdough bread is every day, Chief. Yeah. So you don't understand. Yeah. yeah. I that keep is butter something packets big. on me. I keep jelly packets <laughs> on me. <laughs> oh, man. I love you, dude. That's great. Uh, <laughs> I do. I do like the concept. I think that's pretty neat. I mean, if they're retheming, it's weird, though, that to watch this California theme park get fictionalized, like, section by section. Just turn into Disney's Hollywood Studios too. Yeah, like that, we, we have uh, the better name. Honestly, our park over here should be called California Adventure, and that park over there should be called Hollywood Studios, based on what franchises and the like. Our streets are modeled after real California still. Yeah, I mean, At all the parks point, are kind of turning into Disney Studios. We, we have Grand IP, Avenue. So. We got the Sunset Boulevard, Brown Derby, Hollywood and Vine. Lord We're the knows real what's California. Next. I'm looking at Pacific Wharf and I'm trying to figure out what kind of rides you can put here, but there's like no, just no room. The Baymax happiness, uh, um, but it's just Tow Mater thing. You already have that in that park. So, no, it's just a meet and greet. It's just a Baymax meet and greet in the Cat Cafe. That's so, what's the point? Like, just leave it alone. Like, I don't even think there's that I much of a. What was the point of turning the Paradise Pier into Pixar Pier? Merchandising, <sighs> <I> guess... merchandising. <laughs> oh, God, you're right. Hey, as long as yep. there's some free stuff, like free bow no, be free Pass out free bow mm-hmm. Nope. It's not going to happen, man. You know it. No, Why man. did the downtown Disney Porto's uh, announcement get such a huge cheer? <laughs> Is that just the locals there? <laughs> yeah, that's a thing out there, I guess. Is that a donut shop? Uh, I think they do all kinds of stuff. I don't know for sure. I know that just they a bakery? make some fried potato thing that people love. I think if okay. I'm not, if I'm remembering correctly, it's I don't know. It's a thing. People. That's why people on Discord were reacting. Was just like, why don't you just open an In and Out Burger? Because it's the same kind of thing, like that kind of <laughs> level of thing. So. Um, they did talk about uh, Toontown a little bit. Early 2023 yeah. reopening with Runaway Railway. Uh, a little bit of new play areas. The the boat from Donald's boat staying in case anyone was worried about that. They showed some new. They did show new concept art from the queue of Runaway Railway. I thought was pretty cool. Definitely. I, I like that a lot. Like just featuring different parts of. Mickey's history, like the mouse size thing, got me. The plane from Plane Crazy got me. I think that's oh, the first disco, time I... disco, disco Mickey. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. I didn't even think about that. It's yeah. like the records are framed on the wall. Honestly, if I see like the the paintbrush from Epic Mickey in there, I'm going to cry and crumple into a ball. I guess all I need. I'm cool with that. Sorcerer Mickey costume with the hat floating is kind of neat in the background. If they do that, the steering wheel from Steamboat Willie. I, I hope they still do the beanstalk, the Mickey and the beanstalk gag, where oh, like the because that that's not included in these new renders. Where there was one room of the queue where you could see like Mickey's old shorts, and there was the beanstalk, and then outside in and come busting out of the roof, you see the beanstalk keep going. No, oh, I definitely remember that. Yeah, I hope that's I, still there too. I need Hopefully. to find a new rendering of Toontown to compare it because it's not posted on the website right now. Was there everything in Disneyland besides like the shows that they announced at the end? Yes. Well, no, because then Tiana's bio adventure. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. So and that's they reiterated the stuff we heard, we heard earlier this week where um, we saw the model. We know that uh, it takes place in a salt mine, which they didn't really talk about, but they showed the Imagineers visiting the real salt mine. Um I love this story and how non-story it is. <laughs> like it, it takes place immediately after the movie, and Tiana is gonna whip up a, a great meal, but she's missing a secret ingredient, and that's it. That's the plot of the ride. <laughs> yeah, I think my, uh, I think the search for Evangeline was a better idea. Thank you very much. Um. Well, at least this one focuses on her. She's looking for what? For love? Like she already found love. What is the secret <laughs> ingredient? Lard. Lard is always the secret. Oh my god. <laughs> Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I wouldn't be surprised if the whole entire thing is she's not even just looking for it. We're just traveling to Mama Odie's and Mama Odie has it because it seems like at the very top, oh, you kind of yeah. see like the bottles yeah. up there. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. And so this is basically like going to grandma's house. But I hope what happens is like Dude, in a true food. Red Riding, like Red Riding Hood story. 
the shadow man is up there messing with Mama Odie and some Oh, you sort know of that's way. not going to happen. But again, they didn't even announce Keith David being in the thing. So I think like there's no more. No, no, man. No facility. Which is weird. No facility. No. Which is, yeah, I don't like that. I understand why it's not happening, but I don't like it. Facility but is the awesome. the show, man. if you look at like the concept art for the show, they show some of the same spirits that he would like mess yeah, yeah, with. Yeah. You're right. Like in the concept of the show. So I would think that they would also, because this seems like this is going to bridge the gap between Mm -hmm. the movie and the show. So it makes sense that the Shadow Man would peek his head a little bit. And everybody knows like that's such a huge, iconic part of the movie. I think they might be working something out with putting him in there in some way, shape, or form. I just, that's just the villain you got to have. Like that, you just have to have that. Well, how do you feel? How do you feel about Tiana? Tiana's not just she does she doesn't just have a restaurant but she's branched out and has an entire food company now uh, and a co-op and she's a community leader uh, and a businesswoman and um, the co-op uh, runs Tiana Foods which has a water tower with a tiara on top as an icon of Splash Mountain now how do we all feel about this <laughs> Yeah. Is it is it too much placemaking and not enough storytelling, or is it just the right amount of making it like wink wink? She's a princess. Look, there's a tiara on the water tower. I I... Just jump in the shark a little and like it's a little it's a little <laughs> little ham fisted with yeah. She's a princess too. Now that you mentioned that, I think I like the boat in the tree better. That's no longer there. I think that. Sorry, looks better. it's it's. But uh, it did it's, look better. It can't support that load. It was too heavy. Yeah. Of, <laughs> on the yeah, roof. but the boat really? and the lanterns and all that looked better, in my opinion. The water yeah. tower's fine, but I don't need a tiara on it. I don't need to be like punched in the face with a ham fist or something. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Well, I'm it. okay with that. It's okay. Just, I just would rather not. I think she's awesome as is, and I like the New Orleans thing, so I'm cool. I just I'm gonna miss Facilier though. Honestly. It feels fine to me, but it feels like a lot of what Disney does lately where they they can't just like make like um, a mountain with uh, a storyline from this story. They have to put a backstory. They have to turduck in everything. It's yeah. like, well, this is an old salt mine that's been now repurchased by Tiana for her new food company. And they've re like it's going to have like old lettering with new lettering on top. Uh, it's exactly the RDA now has the Alpha Centauri expeditions yeah, on top. Like yes, it's the old correct, salt mine correct. that's been redone into her factory. Um, it's Disney Springs, like it used to be a water springs plant and factory, but now it's like our you know shopping district and like all the old factories have the old red lettering on it, but then the new lettering on top. And it's just like, oh Disney, I get it. And like Dino Rama is probably the worst right now. Because they have Donald's Dino Bash signs on top of a souvenir sign for Dino Rama on top of an old gas station sign. So it's literally three levels deep of theming. It's so ridiculous. You're probably right. And it's that's if they do a decent job on it too, depending on how many cuts they get to the budget. And so on it's and so just forth. a way to like they, they they I think they worked really hard when they didn't need to to justify a mountain in New Orleans. They're, they're like the the salt mine. It's kind of tall. It's like a hill. Yes, we found our mountain. Like they worked backwards from there. Yeah, that makes sense. Given the and fact it's fine, that but splash was a hill too. It wasn't technically a mountain. It was just a giant <laughs> hill. Yeah. So I, I think the inside scenes are going to be. Whoa! They showed us one character, one critter character that's being added out of the sixteen Yo. critter characters. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's a good character. Emmett Oddington. You know, his his, I, his, his, read his the agent word, is on if it. You, if you look at the words, it doesn't say otter. It says beaver. Oh, that is not a beaver. No boy. It's, no boy. It's, a, it's a critter with a with a fiddle. That's all I know. I, this whether is it's not a getting beaver, easier for me to behave with. Whether it's a beaver or an otter, it, he, he, he has a mustache and he's amazing. <laughs> That's Emmett Otterton. I don't care what anybody says. I, I really don't. That's... It just doesn't make sense that it's a beaver. Do they even have beavers in in in, in the? You know what? They don't even have magical princesses in, <laughs> in Louisiana. So who cares? Let me stop poking holes. I, Let me I, stop poking I, holes. I, I, as I've said before, because uh, there was art that had frogs in it. But as I've said before, as long as they don't turn her back into a frog, I'm perfectly fine with literally any story that they choose to do. <sighs> That would be we hilarious can... if after black if black people complain about this, like you know, it's true. We're going to turn it back into a frog again. Is that what y'all want? Is that what you want? God, uh... can never, pre- can never, never please any of y'all. 
Uh, ridiculous. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, moving I, moving to Walt it. Disney World where all of the best announcements almost happened. Uh, we we started so with mean. it okay, Josh Tomorrow said we we recently debuted and recently we recently debuted shows uh in, in Disney's Enchantment <laughs> and Harmonious. <laughs> Most of them have been a tremendous success. Like he said most of them, and he only named two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's most of two? One? And then he said they were replacing the one that was successful. Yeah. And then they the said they're going to replace, and then they're going to replace the other one, too. Right. So they're replacing both of them. And it's like, Mostly we successful. just announced new shows, and we're getting rid of them. So there's a new show for Epcot, but absolutely nothing was revealed about it, right? Yeah, no. Yeah, nothing. Not really, and no. He didn't say it was for the 40th anniversary. He said it was to tie into the 100th anniversary of Disney. That was the real show. <sighs> people of Epcot are going to riot again. They don't recognize Epcot. Epcotians. Yep. People of Epcot. Epcot- <laughs> people of Epcot. Epcot- people of Epcot, hear me. Sorry, wait, what? Epcot Terrans. So, <laughs> oh. uh, Happily Ever After is sort of coming back. Harmonious is being replaced, but not with an Epcot show, a Disney 100 Years show. And... I guess we were talking because we were, we couldn't stop laughing at most of them have been a tremendous <laughs> success. Um, but he talked about Moana Journey of Water. I don't. Did he release a date? Was there a date on that? Oh, late twenty twenty three. Yeah, I was going to oh, say twenty twenty three. Yeah. Oh, By that's that fun. they mean September after summer is done and it is no longer as hot as it normally is. Oh, I thought they meant twenty twenty five when they say that. Oh my god! Based on Tron. Oh, it's weird because. Oh, Y'all like okay. There was they showed the model of like the Moana um, green mountain lady in um, at D twenty three on the on the floor. Uh, oh, Tafiti, uh, Tafiti, yeah, Tafiti. Um, but like oh, he man. didn't talk about. Did he? Maybe we were still laughing. Maybe he did talk about it. But like, I don't know. That was really funny. Um, I, they they also talk about world celebration in the center of Epcot. Uh, the rest of it, but did he did he mention Communicore Hall and Communicore yes, Plaza by name? Okay, wow, we were laughing a long yeah, we time. Were laughing. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> long time. We were both we missed a lot. <laughs> it took us a second because we were like, "Wait, did he just say that?" Like we were questioning each other for a few minutes, and then we started I have, laughing. I have to play it back and get the exact wording because it was too weird. It was like <laughs> most of them have been <laughs> so um, weird. And then he said the word figment, and we both shut up. We stopped I talking. I was I like, know. wait, what? Is this happening? Is this happening? That was the meanest thing ever, man. You know what, though? The, sh- the biggest shame of all that is if they had said they were going to redo Imagination, the- that place would have exploded. That roof would have probably blown right off of it. Yeah. And they just Because no one knows what that means. It was like silence during the Avengers ride announcement because everyone's so befuddled. We don't know what to make of it. And then, like... Like he he did the whole like please clap thing like because everyone was just stunned silence we're like wait what I thought it was a Quinjet ride like we were just confused he mentions the word figment everyone erupts he like he didn't even finish the sentence he says and there's one character you can only find at Epcot what? yeah people went nuts insanity yeah. <laughs> it would and be we're gonna an... bring a meet and meet and greet <laughs> it's such an easy thing to do to make people happy and they just won't do it. So puppet or the full size or something new? <sighs> full size, probably. Or maybe like if it's if it's something new, how he was saying, oh, the boys in the lab, are, you know, the boys, they're cooking. And right. it, it, it might Is be it a robot? Like an anima- poss- possibly an animatronic version that can also like talk. I personally, I got one or two high hypothesis with this thing. Either this is going to be figments permanent home in the imagination side and then everything else is going to get rethemed Mm -hmm. or this might just be a setup for something that really is going to happen with imagination who knows it's Uh, weird because they uh, like if it was going to be the puppet with dreamfinder they would have put the puppet with dreamfinder on the screen they would have yeah they would have yeah the thing is too like they keep they keep doing things with figment and they keep seeing that every time they do something with figment, like the popcorn buckets and everything, it's always a home run, but they still refuse. I don't know. Under- I, it, it's so odd to me. My first instinct was, it's just going to be the full size meet and greet that they've already got coming yeah, back. Cause probably. that wasn't that long ago. It's not that, but that good. would happen. Like, unless it's going to be in the visa lounge and they're slowly waiting for that little <laughs> thing to peter out. Like that's where it, he was meeting beforehand. That's yeah, where, so- that's the last place he met. 
I wonder if Visa has like if that's like the con when the contract expires for Visa, mm. then they put him in there. That is still going on because we did that once and it was like randomly Minnie was in there. Like you don't it's so quiet and like hidden that no like she's just alone. She's like what have I done with my life that I've just, just locked in this creep. tiny closet? <laughs> She's just locked in a little closet with oh, a pretty mural horrible. on it. And then randomly a family comes in, gets a picture, and then she's alone again. Because you have to have a credit card to get in. It's the weirdest thing. I have a credit card to get in. You have a Chase D- Disney card? Yes, I do. We should go. Okay. Yeah, we should go and get a meet and greet photo next it's time. Okay. Yay! It's okay. It's You're a nice mural. Much. That's it. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Move the oh. move. Get out of the way, Minnie. Let me get a picture of this mural. It's like that with the um, with Pluto and Goofy too at the front. Like I don't want to see you. Get get out of the way. Like this mural is like, come on, this is the sexiest mural of all time. Get out of the well, way. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so maybe, but they, they have they do now how have like uh, permanent meet and greet spaces in the exit. So that would be a great spot to actually put him now that they have uh, the uh, Inside Out and um, Wreck It Ralph. Wait. Hold up. What? What do you think is going to last longer? <laughs> the Imagination Pavilion as it is now, a kid zone. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, can we talk? That. Can we talk? Let's address the Play Pavilion and how it's definitely dead now. <laughs> you mean Epcot's? That, that's Epcot's new Bates Motel is, is up Ye- behind oh. like a fence, all overgrown, all in like the far mm. distance. No one knows what's going on in there. It's, it's never, ever happening. No. They've redone the roof seven times in the last three years for no reason. Uh, the next big announcement was the Hatbox Ghost is ret- is coming for the first time to the Magic Kingdom's how Haunted Mansion. How sad is it that that is a large announcement? That is After one of w- three things actually announced for Walt Disney World. That are new. Big oh and Greet, Hatbox Ghost, new show for Epcot, Happily Ever After returning. Literally, that's the only new things that were announced. Yep. And happily ever after is announced. Figment. Yeah, they did. No, I'm not counting non-announcements as announcements. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 These are the only things actually announced as happening. The uh, other, and one is a happily ever after is a returning show, slightly tweaked. Can, Figment's can we, probably a returning meet and greet. Can, can we call those blue sky things what they actually were? And that would be bait. That's media bait. We're almost there. Uh, do you think Hatbox Ghost is coming to the Haunted Mansion at Walt Disney World because they're making a movie and Jared Leto is playing that character? Yeah, yes. because they, everybody, every studio keeps trying to make Jared Leto work. He just doesn't anymore. Like, <laughs> I don't, what, I don't not remember what the last time. Was. <laughs> I don't remember the last time he was like awesome in something. Me, oh my I god, that's hilarious. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? No, uh, you are not. Dallas Buyers Club. <laughs> they keep trying to make him a thing, and it never works. They keep trying. No, no maybe it Dallas Buyers. Be. It might maybe. be. Yeah, that's it the best. Be. That's that Oscar he's... nominated role. It might and, be. And, and that has been coasting his whole entire career as people were like giving them excuses <laughs> yeah. for why they should ha- hire Jared Leto. He was good that one time. One of these days, he's going to be good again. Yeah, but we want to we want to be there. I tell you, it's not going to be the Haunted Mansion though. So that's the reason they're doing no. this. So that it has to be in the ride. So that when we go see the movie, we're like, oh, that's the one with his head in a box. Yeah. <laughs> like, if the if the movie yeah. fails, is it going to be pulled back? That's the better. No. Question. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Ian, don't even speak that into existence, okay? <laughs> I'm just Let's saying. Calm down here, baby. I'm just calm saying, down. man. Calm I'm down. just saying. I may be making fun of it, but I want the Hatbox Ghost at the Magic Kingdom. Same. <laughs> big same. Okay? It needs to go to the better mansion. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. The Tron roller coaster is opening spring 2023. So what? Seven months from now. How, how long has this build been? What's the six years. Oh my god! It mm-hmm. will be six years. <laughs> to put into perspective, to put into perspective, I have had what two nephews be born in that time span, and three of my nieces and nephews they were one years old when that thing was announced and plant being started to be built, and now they are in first grade. I'm first grade. It's been way, way, way. Children have been born. People have died. It's been way too long. We are in a different world now. <laughs> Alicia like, started a podcast in that time period. <laughs> I was from being a four semi- years. Oh my god! We were doing this podcast for only four years <laughs> compared to the five and a half it will have been to ri- build this one ride. Oh, um, I went from a semi-grown man to a grown man in this time. It needs to. Uh, I'm tired. Okay, Let's just open it. Open it. Our second episode, we talked opens. about Tron and how yeah. and, and how it was breaking ground. 
Or I think we were, it was starting to be built our second episode. I think so too. Um, it was second. Yeah. Second had to be. It was our, yeah. We talked about roller coasters. We talked about the um, Hagrid coaster, Jurassic coaster, guardians coaster, and Tron coaster all in one episode. <laughs> And so far, three of them have opened, and only one of them just opened. <laughs> oh my god! Oh Disney! Four years ago, next uh, next month, actually, um, they talked about some cruise stuff. We tried to guess the name, didn't see treasure coming. No. Uh, I guess they ran out of magical words. <laughs> <laughs> they had to get a new, <laughs> they had a new page in the thesaurus out. So. International parks, Zootopia at Shanghai Disneyland. That animatronic looks pretty good. Come on, the claw hauser is adorable. Yeah, that looks awesome. It does look good. That looks good. They showed look- a few other ones too. Like early in the week, you could see two other ones. They were like construction workers. Oh, I didn't for see the Zootopia that. ride. That's like they were like in this little tiny porthole where I guess in part of the attraction they're going to stick their heads out. They look like Muppets. Like, did oh, you? Oh, that's cool. Did you see the screen, con- like the concept of a screen over top of Grand Central? I thought that was neat. Where you see cool. like the train, the train going by. And then they showed facades, like art for the facades. If you zoom in in the windows, there's characters in the windows. So that might be more screens and windows. Okay. So that's um, pretty cool. When we did a premium podcast on Patreon, we talked about Lord of the Rings land oh and how they would incorporate giant outdoor screens Jar. to expand the world. I know. And. We were talking about it. Like we don't see screens incorporated into outdoor facades yet, so this might be like the first time we really see it happen. I don't know. Well, I'll no think of something. Is, I'll see. I'll think of it as soon as we stop recording. Of course, of course you will. Because <laughs> they have it at HHN this year, over in uh, the suites thing. Well, no, I'm not talking about like oh. augmented reality projections at night or projection mapping at night. Like daytime screens you can see in windows and stuff. That that well, would be new. Hold on. Doesn't Sesame Street do that too? At Se- at SeaWorld? Yeah. I have no recollection. Oh my god, they do. No, that's like an interactive screen. That's like the 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 Wizards game kind of? at, oh, at, at yeah, Magic yeah, yeah. Kingdom. That's different. Kind of. That's different. It's half and half. Okay. It's interactive ish. <sighs> okay, fine. You know, I'll split. I'll split the hair with you. I was trying to give. I was trying to give. But no, that's a good SeaWorld one. win because Elmo. Elmo does run up and uh, to the window. That is okay. That is a good one. We'll give SeaWorld the win. Yes, they deserve it. They need they something. Sh- they showed the ride vehicle on the fl- again. I, th- I feel like the floor is getting more uh, announcements than the actual panel uh, because the the ride vehicle has a model out on the floor. Yeah, um, the little cop car. Do we still think this is the ride system from Dinosaur, or is this a trackless ride system that parks into bays and has motion simulation? Trackless. Trackless. I'm going to still go with trackless. Because it does look like a trackless ride vehicle. Like, the wheels are all the way to the... Like, it looks flat at the bottom. Trackless. But it could just be pretending. Like, you know, like the Scoop vehicle and the Jurassic World uh, adventure vehicle models look like it's pretending. Like, that's what it's supposed to look like, but those are fake wheels. So it could be... They seem the to Indiana really like, Jones Adventure ride vehicle. They maybe? really seem to like their trackless vehicles right now. Like I think this lot. is going to be Ratatouille screen to screen, but with a motion profile actually moving. And a tilt, tilt backwards. And <laughs> if it is, just like the Multiverse Avengers ride. Oh, well. Oh, boy. It, oh, well, maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe may Zootopia and Avengers <laughs> Multiverse are the same ride system, and it's just Rise of the Resistance with uh, motion uh, lock lock moments. But well, that makes it sound worse. I, well, we, we got to see the finished product because one, I'm glad that they're doing something worth. We've at least seen three animatronics so far, so I'm glad that that's at least different than say a Mickey and Minnie's or well, Clawhauser is going to be when you enter the, the the police station. He's gonna he's not part of the ride. Probably. Oh, he's going to be at the front desk. Okay, yeah. they're going to go yeah. by. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's excited for the um, Giselle uh, concert at the end of the night. Oh, it's going to end like the Aerosmith ride. <laughs> you get to go to the oh, concert at the boy. end. Oh, no, good. that Great. is what it's going to be. Oh, oh my God, that is what it's going to be. You're not wrong. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah. it's all coming together. It's all coming together. <sighs> Gotta be careful what we say on here. <laughs> the <laughs> Hong Kong Disneyland has a Walt and Mickey statue. That Walt statue looks amazing, and he's not in a position that is Questionable. reminiscent of someone <laughs> sitting where you do your best thinking, let's say. Sitting on a throne. <laughs> sitting on Hold a on. throne for Epcot. How are they going to unveil that? 
How do I going to unveil that statue it's in the park? It's going to show up one night bolted to the bench. Over at, like, like the, the Walt statue. The Walt statue or the Dreamers at Point the pooping Epcot statue. One? Yeah, how are you going to put that <laughs> and disrespect the Imagination Pavilion? Because the only way that he's pooping, he's at the Imagination Pavilion having a great time in the back. Oh, listening to the mm. old music. Yes. But then y'all disrespect imagination like that. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I, so Hong Kong Disneyland is getting a frozen land, one of several frozen lands around the world. This one's getting its first frozen roller coaster, wandering oak and sliding sleighs. They kind of showed a rendering and a little piece of construction photo. It will be opening in the second half of 2023, then moving to Disneyland Paris. Walt Disney Studios, the poor, the poor <laughs> Walt Disney Studios oh, that almost gets things and then doesn't, is also oh. getting a frozen land, but announced just this week, it's getting a promenade on the way to Frozen with gardens and a tangled attraction. Yay. It's, uh, I guess it's- there's something new just for them. I, I like that both near the frozen lands are getting something new rather than just getting the same. I don't even know why they're copy and pasting frozen. It's the teacups, right? right? Someone said it was the teacups ride teacups? for Tangled. Yeah, oh, it's the teacups like ride boats? for Tangled. Oh, no, like no, 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 that's Tokyo. No, no, no. That's Tokyo. The Tangled like ride at Paris is literally a flat ride. True. In oh, the center I mean, of like, the park. So bad. You're spinning around in because I was thinking. Uh, like, yeah, lanterns make sense. There's like a the there's lanterns. a pond with a boat in the center for looking at to look pretty. Okay. And oh then, boy. yeah, lanterns as the ride vehicle would work. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. Um, Tokyo Disney, though, is getting a tangled boat ride, which because they did course. not talk about during the presentation. It's they getting a not. Peter Pan ride, which they did not talk about during the presentation. And it's also getting a frozen ride, which they did talk about. And they showed the new animatronic for Elsa, and she doesn't have a glowing face. We riot. We riot if we don't get them. <sighs> The duplicates in Epcot will be right. <laughs> this is saying. just like the Beauty and the Beast trackless ride all over again. They show us this amazing animatronic, and it makes me jealous, except this time we actually already have this animatronic, but ours has a glowy face. It's horrible. It yeah. Why are they so doing bad. this to us? Money, Alicia. Money. Why is the... the, 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 the Who owns the Tokyo Parks? Oh, Oriental, see, the or, or, Oriental or, Land Company. Why are they... Do they like sit in a meeting and they go, um, yes, this, but no glowing faces. And, it, and oh, like, well. And yes, everyone agrees. This, this but They don't better. like them. Because yeah. they are smart. <laughs> well, the Japanese audience doesn't really respond to them as much. Like They just find it a little creepy. Don't we? I thought we do too. I think they're creepy. The only yeah. thing that was okay with me on those faces are the eyes. Like See, but Sven's eyes are fine, but like and the that's full what on the, face. Fine, yeah. mm, no. And that's what Officer Clawhauser has. He has glowy eyes over in Shanghai Disneyland, and it works okay for animated characters with fur. But it like the whole face, like being a, it's a cartoon. So weird. It's <sighs> weird. It's it, weird. It's, look. That's also the no. difference between like uh, Imagineering and getting a budget cut or not, because OLC will spend the money. Obviously, they will, because it, it its lip movements had to match the music exactly. Yeah, and ours is just a projection. It's always it's always a flat face. Like if it turns oh. off, it looks like the mannequins at Epcot's crea- it's uh, freaky creations. It's freaky, it's freaky. <laughs> Also, if you notice, they're not even. They have a Toontown. They have one of the best Toontowns I've been to, arguably the best out of the two. And that one doesn't have that one's not getting railway, and it's mostly because they don't like those face screens. Well, they're yeah. right because they're, they're not they're, they're not that great. Everything else about Runaway Railway is pretty good, except for the tornado scene. You need to spin all the way around, but those faces are a little weird, weird. looking. Weird, yeah. Daisy's the only one that kind of works. Daisy, Daisy does work. The, yeah, that's the only one. But like Mickey and Minnie are the main ones that you're with the entire time. And those look uh, well, the side profile ones oh get boy. weird the closer you get as you pass. Yep. them. They get super yep. weird. Yep. Hi, a goof. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no. She's about to go. She's about to yeah. say it. <laughs> my nightmares. Oh, no. Welcome to my nightmares. I must have hit that track. <laughs> uh, so it's getting worse every time that I meant to ask you guys. Do you think they're going to re like is Roger Rabbit safe? Um, yeah, cartoon no. spin no uh, over in in in, in no. Anaheim or are they are mm. they like <laughs> they've gentrified Toontown and poor Roger Rabbit's oh gonna get kicked god. out <laughs> oh my god it's it's the whole entire plot of Roger yeah. Rabbit all it over really again is. It, is. It, is. <laughs> it is it is it is oh my god 
I I I worry. I, look, all I'm saying is because uh, up what? until up until recently, you could still ride it with trench coat Jessica. And, and, but like when Toontown reopens, trench coat Jessica is lame. Uh, she looks like a flasher. Look, I go know. ride Roger Rabbit. Give it give I it some know. attention. Lo- that's all I'm saying. It's always packed full of. When I went to Disneyland last, and this was like on a Tuesday, when I went for my uh, 24 hour trip, that it was packed. Like that thing always has like a, a 60 minute, 45 to 60 minute wait, mostly because it has terrible loading time. But it's always yeah. packed. Yeah, it's Runaway Railway has door. really good. Yeah, but Runaway Railway is going to steal all its thunder. You true. And it's going to be right. second fiddle in that t- in that land. Um, Space Mountain at Tokyo. Uh, Disneyland will be opening by 2027. Cake Mountain. That's a long time. That is a long time, but at least they. Whoa, 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 whoa! When does theirs close? Like when does their Space Mountain close? That's a good question. I don't know. It didn't actually say when it closes, yeah. and that's yeah, because they they're redoing say. the whole plaza. Like that whole section of Tomorrowland is kind of getting revitalized with so much LED lighting. <laughs> so it's going to take a while. I wonder if that's the only thing that they went, like when they were showing OLC around, they're like, we don't want any of this other crap. Just give us the LEDs, the the Epcot LEDs. Y'all are doing wonders on those. Everything else is mediocre. Get I, out of here. Yeah. Do we still think it's going to be the Cosmic Rewind ride system for their new Space Mountain? Well, yes. I don't see why not. I feel like it can compete with Space Fantasy over at oh, true. Osaka. True. true. A bigger Space Fantasy with a more modern yeah, spinning coaster definitely. design. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. This concludes actual announcements <laughs> part of our presentation. And now oh, we boy. enter the blue sky oh, zone. And I wish oh, we God. had more time to talk about this because we should have we should have only just talked about this. No, because this is a, really? this is absurd. This is beyond <laughs> I don't even know. They don't even have the pictures. If you go right now to the official Disney Parks blog, there's not even the pictures. No. Like it doesn't no. exist. This isn't real. It didn't really happen. It was a fever dream. We all imagined it. It was a mass hallucination because no, it there was, was 10 made. minutes of them waffling and saying, Dino Land? I don't know. Maybe. Dino Land? What yeah. do you think? Behind, Dino Land? Behind Big Thunder Mountain, maybe? Maybe? But like, maybe not? seriously, they said Dino Land and Pandora like 16 times. Yeah. And at a certain point, eventually, Josh is like, well, what did you? What were some of the ideas you were tossing around? And I'm sitting here going, "Oh, neat! They're going to go through all the blue sky concepts, and then they're going to tell us what they decided on." Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> nope. It's bait. It's media bait it's to get people talking. That's all it was. It's like Disneyland Forward. Like, yes, literally, it's just that's, Disneyland yeah, Forward. That's why I tweeted it, it out. It I said, it "Choose is. your fighter," and I put Disneyland Forward, and I put the blue sky concept art for the Dino Land replacement. And I don't think people got the joke. The joke is neither of them are real. <laughs> yeah, exactly. no, these are just things to make up excuses for something that might. But what I will say, I like at least I like that they were upfront with us. I think they learned that from like the last, yeah, the last two D twenty threes. It's not like the Main Street Theater or Mary Poppins where you have a big song and dance and then don't build it this yeah. is like they made some concept art they're showing it to us but they're not promising to build it and so we can good. just pretty much guarantee that it won't get built <laughs> that part is good i just would like i was i think i was saying to someone on twitter i'm like I, I think that's good because it keeps me from getting my hopes up but i want something to get my hopes up about Focus yeah. group. We were that just makes focus sense. group, right? That's all it was. The, That's all yeah. it was. They yeah, were we pitching ideas group. to us. It was a presentation yeah. to see to gauge our reactions on what they like we thought. <laughs> and people cheered loudly for Coco. People cheered loudly for Encanto. People went nuts for villains because they yeah. thought he was about to announce a fifth theme park. Yeah. And and, and then when he said Zootopia, I think there was some like confusion and people were like, whoa, 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 we're getting rid of dinosaur for mm-hmm. Zootopia. <laughs> yeah. It was a, it was a little quiet. Moana seemed to get more of a yeah. reaction, mm-hmm. yeah, as opposed to Zootopia, which I'm kind of surprised about. Josh was sitting there. He literally says, "Well, that one's my favorite," because he had talked about different concepts and like the the head of Disney Animation, Jennifer. Is that who that is? She's like, well, we have many so. different ideas that we discussed. And Josh is like, yeah, but that one is my favorite. And it was very weird the way he said it. But yep. um, that concept that that he said it was his favorite, the one they decided to show us, has Moana. It's like a split replacement for Dino Land. Dino Rama is now Moana with the space behind it. And Dinosaur and the original Dino uh, Land USA is Zootopia, which just lends itself to the rumor that Di- 
that Zootopia is the dinosaur ride system because they could retheme it maybe and leave the building. I don't know. Mm. If you look, it has a spinner ride in the foreground for Moana, right where Triceratops spin yeah. would be. Mm-hmm. And on the left side is the other half of Dinorama with expansion space behind it for a flume ride for Moana. Yeah. Are there even animals in Moana? This is well, Animal Kingdom, remember? Yeah, there's water and the, spirit stingray thing. Those there's are not animals, rays. those are spirits. <laughs> I know, I'm just saying, that's about all I can remember. There was chickens fighting them on a boat. There was chickens, that, a, chicken eats, a chicken eats rocks and a, and a cute pig. Yeah, and this uh, pua. From yeah. what I, I feel like Moana fits more in the aspect of her whole entire journey and the whole entire problem was because somebody messed with nature and pissed nature the off. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Dang it, I was doing so good. I was that. doing so, so jealous. good. It's not fair. I was doing so good. I, yeah, so I think that's why they kept bringing up Pandora because it was about the balance of nature. Yeah. So it could fit if you do the same thing you did with uh, Pandora and just, like up. shoehorn it in. Sure. Hold up. Isn't that already what they're doing with Epcot? Like, I feel like that. <gasps> uh, that was my next question. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> it's already what they're doing, except I the ride's mean. not there. If you want to do that, just build the dang flume ride and cut out this water nonsense. Exactly. And yeah. here's like, the, the, the weird thing is like, when Moana came out in theaters, I think we all collectively said this would be great in Adventureland as yes. like a, the version of the yes. Fire Mountain. Yes. Um, yes. And do that because she goes on an adventure, a quest, and she like, and she's, you know, she's not just a princess. She's going on a quest. And like, that makes sense. And instead, they're like, no, no, we're going to build a water thing in Epcot based on Moana. Oh, OK. And then they're like, and Animal Kingdom. <laughs> like, that both. makes me know. It's ridiculous. Like, neither and, of the parks we, we actually wanted it to be in. Plus, Adventureland needs, Adventureland is the only land that does not have a thrill ride besides Liberty Square, but who cares about Liberty Square? Like, they're, they're the only ones that don't have a thrill ride. <laughs> Liberty, Liberty Square doesn't ride. have thrill rides or bathrooms. <laughs> it would even make more sense in World Showcase as a Pacific Islander pavilion kind of thing like with Moana there. And the music is so good. Like to waste it on just the water, that water area they're building, there's such there's so many good songs in that movie. And they're better than the Frozen songs. I said what I said. I said what I said. No, you're 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 right. Uh, yeah, you're right. Even though it's the same song over again, it's a lot better. <laughs> Most it's better. Of it's better. And, and then, okay, beyond Big Thunder Mountain, as uh, which would be the land's name because none of it ties together in oh any boy. actual cohesive way. But well, beyond Big Thunder Mountain, keep going. Oh boy. <laughs> Explain. Oh well, no. jo- Explain how Josh tomorrow oh. said, "What about Coco? What about Encanto? How about villains? For some reason, yeah. these are things we could put behind Big Thunder Mountain and." Um, they showed one piece of concept art that was hastily thrown together three days ago. This is allegedly uh, that uh, wouldn't Coco go better in Epcot? Wouldn't Encanto go better in Epcot? Yes. A villain's 100%. mountain in like to the left side of Fantasyland is brilliant. brilliant. Of course, Agreed. I want a villain's land opposite yes. Fantasyland. That mm-hmm. makes sense 100%. to me. It, 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 in and of itself, just villains is like the anti fantasy land. It's the dark fantasy. And just call it that, called dark fantasy land. Um, but Way in Kanto and Coco, for them to go with dark universe, what I don't, I don't know. I like, I love the idea of a Coco ride. I love the idea Same. of an Encanto. Um, I'm into like, it thing that has door that you open and you get to a bigger space and there's meet and greets fine but those things belong in epcot i agree uh so it's very weird to me even if you're going to put coco and do like a ride or whatever and it's a flying on the on the spirit thing put it in adventureland fine expand yeah. adventureland behind pirates like you've always talked about put a coco there it's weird that he was talking about it all in this one space behind thunder mountain so I will say one, I wanted Encanto and I wanted Encanto definitely more inside of Adventureland, but I never thought about putting Coco on there. That either one fits. Yeah, but, and either one fits in uh Epcot. We've already got a Mexico yeah. pavilion for what Coco. I will say about Coco makes it makes sense if you're going down like south of the border type of way. Mexico if you know like Texas is the biggest it is essentially what people think of when it comes to the old west that's like the one state that seems to be keeping all that stuff up and keeping it alive with the mythos and we Mm -hmm. all know about six flags over texas and how mexico once owned texas so it makes sense to have to have coco there but i would want to have that connected more to pirates Mm -hmm. same thing with encanto so it makes sense it's just going in the opposite direction 
I can see there's this thing connecting to New Fantasy Land. So oh, we're going around that way? I was thinking of going around the south way uh, and connecting to Adventureland, but okay, we can loop that way. Oh, it looked like, in the concept art, it looked like he was going, like, towards Yeah, villains Fantasy could be Land. toward the right where the teepees are <laughs> right now <laughs> behind the lake. <laughs> I think that would make the most amount of sense because that's what kind of seems like they've always wanted to kind of do something more with around Rivers of America. And they've already achieved that with over at Disneyland, so they kind of have an idea of what they can do yeah. with it. I mean, it does. It does feel like Disneyland's expansion for Star Wars. It feels like we're yeah. going to really stretch this park on the top left and give it a whole new like ring of life. So I get, I get you. I just Maybe. don't see how you connect it together in Maybe. like give it a name for a land. Coco Land, Encanto Land, Villains Land. Villains is the only one that feels like a land. Coco and Kanto don't really feel like Frontierland attractions. But then again, no. neither does New Orleans. So I thought as soon as he said what's behind Big Thunder Mountain, I'm like, ooh, New Orleans land. Like, finally, we'll actually get our own. And we can start with uh, the Splash Mountain redo and work backwards and give it to Tiana her restaurant there. Like, th- that made too much sense. I guess Frontierland works from a historical perspective of what they're going for, but it's not really working from a imagery of what people really know and come to know from westerns and frontier based things so it's it's a little bit of a history nerds deep cut like we know what we expect when we go to like a frontier land or a western land like hell even what's his name over in tokyo that's what they call theirs their frontier land is western land like it's very blatantly based on the movie i mean if if you put an expansion back there would it still just be frontier land for coco and Encanto, or would you give it a no. different name it's latin no. america land it's there latin america land there you go it's gotta be something it's latin else, yeah. land latin land Latin it's, it's, oh boy, it's 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 what the people wanted. I I I don't know. I don't know what they're doing at this dang point. They I mean, don't know what they're doing. That's obvious. They're just throwing stuff out to get people. Just yeah, we have stuff to reiterate. This is literally just them Maybe. making up stuff and seeing what we feel hey. about it, <laughs> which but, is fine. I'll, there's nothing wrong with that. I just want to make sure it's clear because there's already headlines that are misleading and saying Coco coming to Magic Kingdom, Zootopia coming to, uh, you know, Animal Kingdom, and it's like that's not true. Yeah, I, I think they should be in Epcot and World Showcase, and then Villains Land should be that gap between the two. So this is confirming one thing, though, that they want to add capacity to Magic Kingdom, which is something that we've always been yeah, squawking about. So I will say they maybe are looking at – well, not maybe. I feel like something is going something to happen. Something is going to happen, yeah. A big expansion but, on, that, on the other side of the berm on the left side is definitely going to happen. And so, hey, man, maybe maybe we're finally going to – they're building rides at least in one part, kind of, maybe Eventually. in 2000XX. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, based on timelines and all, like if they don't even have a plan secured or greenlit at this point, we're talking 2028, 2029 at the earliest because they have, they have a plan for Space Mountain in Tokyo and that's not till 2027. So this this is not even a plan yet. So we're talking now, 2028 at the earliest here. Question to both of y'all. And this is something I raised with Tommy that maybe Disney isn't on the attack like they are because when it comes to Epic Universe, because the first two, the first two Universal parks that opened up were relatively flops or they had flop openings and it took them yeah. a while to get like right. to gain scheme, steam. And they were like, definitely wait and see because you don't want another MGM incident where you just rapidly open up this park and now... MGM's like what, 30, nearly 30, 40 years old at the end of this at the end of this decade. Oh yeah. And the it's still decade, a yeah. mess. Yeah. It's it's still yeah, a mess. They I, yeah. And like I that's a whole even park. Waited. That's a whole park though. We're talking about one extra land or one extra ride. Yeah. I would I would settle for one extra ride. They haven't even announced a new ride. They're I still see, building yeah. the rides they announced uh two D twenty threes ago. Uh, Jalen, when they announced when he started talking about villains, did you did part of you hope that he was actually about to announce a fifth gate? <laughs> no, God, no, Jesus, oh, no. I actually like part of my I brain turned off. Gonna. I thought it he was sounded gonna. like it was going to happen. You know it, what that sounds like to me when somebody says, "Oh, we want a fifth gate." That's like one of those parents or one of those terrible couples who wants to have another kid, even though the other four are like yeah, struggling. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. No. I think it's a bad idea. It's just that the way he phrased it as you guys are always coming up with this idea for villains. Yeah, but when we do, it's for a new park. Like Every time someone brings it up, it's always in the context of a fifth gate. 
So I thought for sure, like, don't bring up the fact that we came up with this idea. No. We, we've we been talking about it as a... But uh, someone else pointed out, I don't know, Zootopia, Moana, Coco, Encanto, Villains, that sounds like a whole new theme park to me. <laughs> like, oh my, yeah, exactly. you're not wrong. <laughs> but to be fair, all four parks need some... They need some capacity. They need some rides and some headliners. But, like, you don't need to put them all in Magic Kingdom. Three of them in Magic Kingdom. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's ridiculous. I mean, Just the parks... One. Also, you guys, you guys remember what Spaceship Earth had air conditioning? I remember that. It was nice. Is it nice. out of air conditioning? Isn't that the, the air conditioning last, working? The two times that Alicia and I have been on it, or at least I have been on it, it's, there has not, it's, it's pretty it's, muggy in there. It's, it's oh, pretty warm no. in there. It's bad. Shut it down. There. Shut it down. There is one theory going around right now that because it's a split concept for the Dino Land replacement, the Moana thing takes over Dino Rama and the Zootopia thing taking over the original half could be scrapped to save money or because they say, oh, there was too much pushback against Zootopia. So we're going to leave Dino Land USA, oh, the original intact yeah, yeah, with yeah. the Boneyard and Restaurantosaurus and the dinosaur ride. And then Dino Rama becomes the Moana mini land. I'm cool with that. And it takes up space from backstage all the way through to where the roller coaster was, and it rethemes the Triceratops spin. So we I get a cool more natural, like a lot of water features. Uh, like I noticed there was even a water feature around the spinning ride. So it was a very more like naturalistic fits within the because the, really the parking lot Dinorama is the only thing that doesn't fit that park. Even no. the dig site area in the museum fits that park better because of the mm-hmm. way it looks natural. So. Yeah, I could see that happening. Like, it's, man, good. I know when I spoke to Josh DeMauro that said that he, he didn't, he didn't, he stopped reading this Twitter because it's negative. And I, I pray today is not the day he logs back in. <laughs> today is not the day I hope he <laughs> logs back in because this man is finna get. And one thing I will say that I do kind of like with this is that the blame is finally shifting over towards him because he is the one running the show now. I did say, right, I did say that. Everything mm-hmm. up until this point that was announced was under or that was being built was under Chapex and he was just right. finishing that up. But now we're seeing his hit administration running it and he's getting a lot of flack for it. And it's kind of nice. Not because I wanted to see him like fry, but more so but held accountable held because accountable. he is in charge currently. And this felt messy. It did. This felt, this didn't feel like Chapek, for all his faults, had plans and he talked about them with his full, like, full force. He had confidence. He, he had, yeah, he, he had Dick Van Dyke out there singing and dancing for a, a thing that wasn't even designed yet. And, and you know what? I believed him that it was going to happen. You and this one, <laughs> this one had some really good ideas, but put in a way that, like, makes it feel floundery. And I'm not so sure. And I'm uncertain. Like, I'm afraid to get excited about Coco. And the Coco was probably the thing I'm most excited about. Yeah. And it's hard for me to get behind it because I got nothing. Like I have no proof trust that them. it's going I, to I, exist. I don't have, yeah, I don't have the trust anymore. They keep announcing stuff and rolling it back. I just, there's no reason to get excited for anything because you don't know if it's actually going to happen until it's built. And it's worse than ever. That's the point that's bad. I mean, it's always been that way. Things change and never, it's, it's never been for sure until it's open, but it seems to happen more and more often. Things get budget cuts and rolled back or completely yes. canceled and it's just getting worse and worse. They they seem to rely on IP and just like mediocre attractions a lot more than they ever did. So it bothers me. It's hard to get excited. And I can understand if I could understand this was just like the update where he comes back out and he says, okay, look, we don't got anything for you guys, but we're going to finish up the things that we promised you. And that's what we're going to end up doing. I would be okay with that as opposed to just being like, we're going to completely shelve everything. And then we're going to speculate on what we can give you. And everything else is just completely, we're going to finish off what we already said that's already being built that we really have to finish. But for the most part, you're not going to get any of the things that we promised you beforehand because we don't really have to give them to you. Everything else seems to be doing okay. Yeah, I mean, credit where credit is due. He was honest in saying it's all blue sky. Yeah, he I like At the that. end of the he day, was. I probably would have rather seen a big blank empty slate behind Thunder Mountain and him saying we're working on big things and we can't wait to tell you about it soon. 
I, I think that if they're going to blue sky like that, you need to make it a separate panel so it's much more clear. Yeah, that this wasn't the place for that. I feel like, no, or I, you do that, or you do that whole talk, and then you tell us at the end what we, you you decided to build, um, showing us art and saying this one's my favorite, <laughs> and yeah. everyone's going to report on it as if it's happening is totally yeah. different. No, or it should it have been its own panel. His, I'm just saying. It covers his behind a little bit, so if something doesn't happen, we, he could just be like, yo, I ain't tell you that I was going to take you. I said, maybe. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's Thanks, what I'm saying. Dad. It could have been his own panel, and he could have just been like, look, these are things we are looking at. We want to build. We're just trying to figure out what is like most exciting or something. It just could have labeled it straight up a blue sky panel. I mean, I actually enjoy blue sky stuff. It's fun to daydream about stuff, but yeah. this yeah. obviously confused people, and obviously the misleading headlines that are already out there are also confusing people, so... And that's what Disneyland Forward did. It's the exact same thing. Yep. They're like, D- 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 Disneyland to get Fantasy Springs expansion. Like, that was all the headlines. Like, could, because you can zoom in and see Peter Pan or whatever. And that's like, they were having the exact same problem now, where, except he like, explicitly told us, like, wouldn't you like to see villains? Yeah. yeah. Everybody we'll is think wants... about it. Thank you for your input. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Um, Possibly. Also, real quick, just to answer what Jalen was asking earlier about Epic, I I think there's a lot of things that went into Disney not having anything to fire back with directly. Not only do I think they don't really need to fire back directly, but I also think that with the movement and all the Imagineers that they lost, I don't know that they have a lot of stuff to fire back with. Because if they did, they shouldn't. They they surely wouldn't be using Blue Sky to get media attention if they had something. Yeah, but you can greenlight something without a team to build it yet. You can. That's also true. It's true, but they might not even have the plan to greenlight. That's what I'm saying. Like Like, they could have a concept, but they don't have it ready to go. It sounds to me like they have the IPs that have been greenlit, and they have some expansion plots that have been greenlit, and they haven't plugged in what they need to plug in yet. So like yeah, someone said feels... Coco is yes and Encanto is yes. And then someone else said, well, we can do this ride with this and this like a yes. meet and greet with this. And yeah. they're like, yes. And they have like they have all the pieces, but they're disparate yeah. and they haven't put them together yet. Like, I, I guess what I'm saying is they're behind the ball, basically, because they had a couple of steps that they lost because of things that they chose to do. Yeah. Whereas and Universal, the pandemic. Yeah. At the and same time. At the same time. And Universal kept going, even though they kind of quieted down with Epic. They never really stopped planning it. In fact, hopefully they improved it even more with the extra time. But Disney tends to slow down or stop and Universal tends to keep going. So am I wrong that Encanto sounded like a enhanced meet and greet with each door being a big giant room yes, with different it characters? It did. And then yes. you get your own door that's just for you. That is exactly the same for everybody else. <laughs> and it's like just like you you make your way through the doors through a hallway and then you well, leave it's- actually what if that's like uh maybe sort of an casita hotel no <laughs> you don't know okay. no. okay. that would be too good no, no okay, that's, I, just that's saying, way too interesting of an idea like, <laughs> i just what it felt like he's like you get your own door i'm like okay so it's just like a back is it going to be like a grand california thing where i can just walk right in no, I don't think that's the That'd case. be too good. That'd be way too no. good. They would never give oh, us well, never mind. So cool. They would no. never give us anything that cool. No. It sounds to me like an enhanced meet and greet with a, with a special effect at the end instead of the beginning, like uh, Wait, Bell's Enchanted Tales. How would you even get a door? You would have to marry into the family and your kid gets one. Oh, my God. Although, uh, I mean. They did also oh announce boy. at the very end that Magic Happens will be back at Disneyland, a new World of Color show at DC- DCA, and a um, new Wondrous Journeys show was that what it was called oh yeah you mean the christian rock folk band get it's down. wondrous <laughs> oh i man. thought it sounded like mumford and sons exactly. toward the end it brought in like the like the fiddling if, uh guitar riff it sounded like portland like what any like anytime i think of yeah. like hipster land usa yeah. i think of portland I like the idea that this is a um nighttime spectacular that will include all 60 animated films i thought I that was like clever that. that was cool yeah, that's. But what cool. about Magic Kingdom, though? What about? It's not like we. What, what about Magic Kingdom? What, we're getting happily right. ever after with some oh. like leftover clips from uh, Enchantment. Yeah, what if really that's care. the remix? Well, they just do that. Probably, I don't know. Just don't make it in three months like you did last time. Oh, boy. No, that's why they're doing it because happily ever after had more. I think more R and D and more like love and attention went into happily yep. ever after and more better. And more you can better. tell because like the 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 default face for the projection map with that golden red is just beautiful. 
it matches the castle so perfectly. And I also think Enchantment had the jewelry accessories on the castle to fight against it. So it made it harder to projection map because of all the accessories. <laughs> the 50th anniversary <laughs> uh, uh, bling, as it yes, were. Queen. Yes, queen. Uh, all right, that, 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 the song wrapped it up. As soon as the song was over, I was like, oh, that's it. Wait, okay, it's over. I, then. It went longer than I thought and somehow gave less information than I expected. Poor Dallin. I feel bad for Dallin. Oh my I God, really I do feel a bad. People mover. Yeah. I really feel bad for Dallin. He's been hoping for that people mover forever. I really do feel bad for him. Offhand Disney. Yeah. No, I feel bad for those guys, but they ate good. They got the most out of everybody, which is they did. They normally did. doesn't happen. So I'm happy for them. I am. It, I think it's strange that Tokyo's um, Fantasy Seas expansion uh, didn't get much. They, they could have talked about that for 20 minutes and shown actual animatronics or yeah. ride systems for these three, yeah. like two completely new rides. Like I, there's a Tangled Boat ride and I've no, I know nothing about it. And I would have loved to have seen an animatronic or an animatic for the like boat ride or the Peter Pan ride, like showing us how the ride system worked would have been so cool because I don't know and I want to know this stuff. Or, or, you know, we got a little glimpse of an animatronic uh, for the Frozen ride and a little glimpse of animatronic for Shanghai Zootopia. But like those other two rides, like I want to see Peter Pan and Tangled. And instead we talked about Blue Sky for 20 minutes. So it's weird what they focused on when they have new things being built. Honest to God, I'm just happy. The one great thing about this, and it never happens, it hasn't happened since like the whole Diz Flicks thing. But everybody in the community all agrees. This is the one time that we've all come together to be like, yeah, no, that was, uh, that wasn't good. <laughs> it was weird. At best, it was weird. Um, I, the biggest announcement for Walt Disney World is the Hatbox Ghost is coming. I'm just a little yeah. disappointed, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. I, I'm happy to see that, but that is really bad that that was the big one. <laughs> it's kind of sad, especially considering how much Walt Disney World as a whole needs. It's really bad. Well, yeah, it's you know, so bad. Out of all the two new shows, most have been successful and we're replacing <laughs> both of them. So thank you for joining us, Jalen, for talking. Where can everyone find you Yo, on no. the internet? Okay, y'all can find me at TC Jalen. That's T C J A A L I N on Twitter. And then on Instagram, you can find me at Tom Morrow's Child. And yeah, thank y'all for having me. This was this was great. It's not it's fair. A- you let Jalen curse. It's not fair. Well now look. Look, here's the thing, Ian. <laughs> I run an uncensored podcast. I know. Alicia knows my mouth. It's hard. Have, it's hard. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have. Pause. I've had. It's to, to be fair, I've had a lot of practice editing myself to save her some time. So goodbye, everyone. <laughs> uh, bye, bye, y'all.